Welcome to Lubera, the Swiss fruit and berry plant producers and breeders. My name is Markus Kobold, I'm founder and breeder of Lubera. It's Friday afternoon and I just finished my work. I wanted to go home and I just saw this fruit bar. These fruit bars were everywhere this summer. They were at the Plantarium show in Holland. They were in, 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 in UK at the Malvern Autumn show. They were at, uh, at, uh, at Sabine Reber's pla pla place, a Swiss garden writer. She did some photographs. And this uh, Aya Popeye uh, uh, fruit bar was everywhere. And it came just back to us, to our nursery, and I saw the fruit down here. So you let follow the ripen fruits and they are already ripened now uh, end of September, beginning of October. Normally they would be ripened middle of October, end of October, be beginning of November, but uh, this year these plants were for two months in a, in a, in a plastic house, in a plastic tunnel, so were, they were forced a little bit. Normally they would be ripening end of October, also in a bad year like this. And these are the ripened fruits now which came down from the plant and you can now feel which one is filled. About 70-80% of all fruits are filled at Aya Papaya and uh, you have also to look a little bit at the, at the yellow color. So when it's uh, yellow color it's ripe and it's full of fruit flesh. The other ones which are not full are empty. Sometimes you see some seeds and then you would have to wait a little bit longer because round around the seeds the fruit flesh is developing. But here we have a full one, a full egg, a full passion fruit of Aya Popeye. And it's yellow, it's deep yellow and the fruit flesh is around the seeds as I have said. So I will try this one. I'm very happy that Sabine Rebel, the Swiss garden writer, didn't see the ripened fruit so I can now enjoy it. And uh, so, uh, take it, you see here, really stunning to have fresh passion fruit, also in a bad year. In our climate here in Switzerland this year was very bad. Mm. Delicious. And it's really sweet, sweet. Only when you crack a little bit the seeds, then you have some acidity. But the fruit flesh is really very sweet with a very clear passion fruit aroma. I like it. Mm. Delicious. So, if you plant your passion flower outside in the garden, uh, they start in May, June to develop. You will have ripened fruits end of October, beginning of November. If you have in a pot, you can force a little bit in a glass house, in plastic tuna, or in a patio in summer, and then you can already have ripened fruits end of September, like we have this year. So have different possibilities with this plant. Outside planted, it's winter hardy, and in a pot you have to protect a little bit over the winter because of the changes of temperature, which are not very good for this plant. But outside, it's like a perennial. Uh, it can survive even minus 20 degrees without problems. Go on gardening. In the meantime, I'm eating passion fruits. Over this bridge, you have to go. Here, here you go to Lubera Co. UK with all our breedings and thousands of more plants. And here, here you can inscribe to our YouTube channel. Just go your way.